time for my 44th John Carpenter game. I want to be a millionaire. The Australian Family Picture Edition for the DVD. Select either the adult or junior questions here. Okay, you've chosen to answer the adult questions. There are 15 of them between you and a million dollars. Let's get you up to the first milestone as quickly as possible. Here's the first question for $100. A six years built time vocal group was Dan Ross and the Margaritas Marineros Supremes Vegetarian. That'd be the Supremes. That's right, well done. Take a look at question two. It's for $200. Which of these is also a hit Hollywood film musical? Memphis, Boston, Chicago. Tch, Chicago. Correct. I You're think they've been Dublin or something like Oklahoma, you can honestly. Here it comes. What I just wanted was to know this Australian fastballer Dennis Who, Rod Marsh, Greg Chappell, Jeff Thompson, Dennis Lilly. That'd be Dennis Lilly. Yes. Um, in terms of favorite cricket teams I follow, I, I mostly follow the West Indies cricket team. Australia's a close second. Okay, the next question is for five hundred dollars. Take a look. The African is a breed of what animal? Camel, dog, goat, horse. An African hound's a dog. It's the correct answer. You are one question away from your first milestone. Get this right and you'll be guaranteed a thousand dollars. Which Indonesian which Indonesian island is also to trade them with computer language? Hombon, Bali, Java, Lombok. That'd be Java. <laughs> You're doing very well. It's another correct answer. Guaranteed a check for a thousand dollars, but I don't want you to give up just yet. Let's shake things up a bit now by introducing a few pictures into the questions. A brand new experience for this special Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You might as well play the next question, it's worth two thousand dollars. Who is this actor who died in 2004? Peter Ustinov, Tony Randall, Christopher Reeve. It's uh, Sir Peter Ustinov. Excellent. That's the right answer. You're up to question seven. It's worth $4,000. You don't have to play, but here comes the question. In which of her films does the actress say, Shut up, just shut up, you had me at hello? Cold Mountain? Myself and Irene, Jerry Maguire, Chicago. That'd be Jerry Maguire. Hmm. Congratulations, that correct answer takes you up to $4,000. I think that's the Cole Kidman's depiction. The next question is worth $8,000, but you'll drop $3,000 if you get it wrong. Here it comes. Which city? was first to host the modern Olympic Games twice. Athens, London, Los Angeles, Let's see. Paris. That'd be Paris, 1900 and 1924. So, the others are 8, London, 1908, 1948, Los Angeles, 1902, 1984, Athens, 1896, and 2000. This question is worth $16,000, but if you get it wrong, you will lose $7,000. Here it comes. This memorial to Australians who served and died in war is in which city? Melbourne, Canberra, Adelaide, Sydney. I believe it's in Melbourne. No problems with that answer. It's correct. Okay, this is where you can guarantee yourself $32,000. Of course, if you get it wrong, you'll drop back to just $1,000. Take as long as you need. Here comes the question. Which continent has the highest average elevation? 
Asia, South America, North America, Antarctica. That'd be Antarctica. You're really in the money now. That is the correct answer. Fantastic. I can now write you out a check for $32,000 guaranteed. It's Victor questions all the way now. You might as well have a go at question number 11. For $64,000, you've got nothing to lose. And here it comes. Okay. Hmm. In 2004, this CEO of which bank announced its loss of $360 million in foreign exchange dealings? National Australia Bank. Commonwealth Bank of Australia, Westpac, ANZ. That'd be a National Australian Bank, NAB. It's the correct answer. It's the orangutan. Fantastic! That's the correct answer. Right, you've done brilliantly so far. The next question is number 13 out of 15. It is worth $250,000. We're talking about some huge sums of money here. A quarter of a million dollars. So make sure you take your time and think carefully before you answer. Okay. What is the subject of this American author's book, Notes from a Small Island? Britain, Tasmania, Singapore, Manhattan. Happy uh, Britain. That is the right answer. You are playing superb. Okay, you are now just two questions away from becoming a virtual millionaire. If you get this question wrong, you will drop all the way back to 32000 You're playing for serious amounts of money now, so be very, very careful. Here comes question number 14. Which country is original home to this type of three-wheel taxi called a tuk-tuk? Thailand? Vietnam, Philippines, Indonesia. Thailand. That is the right answer. You are playing so He's dying. It's almost the same question, but even the same image, and even the same answer choices are almost. But maybe you can have Cambodia as an option choice. Well, no. congratulations. You have played a magnificent game so far. 14 questions correct, so just one more to win $1 million. I've got to remind you that if you get it wrong, you would drop a mammoth $468,000. Hardly bears thinking about that. So here we go, the very best of luck. Okay. Dying in 2004, this actor did not star in which of these film musicals? Howard Keel. Celebrity Jane, Kismet, Brigadoon, Kiss Me Kate. Brigadoon did not star Howard Keel, it starred Gene Kelly.
Thanks for watching.